All right, this is gonna be one of the most fun showcases in my opinion. I am showcasing mixed to clips, and yeah, it's very brawny, tender, foolish, but it's got a bit of range attack investment as well. Typeless Essence because it boosts Raging Tackle and Quick Pounce. I don't think it boosts Gluminous Roar, but if it does, then that's also a plus. Power Focus, obviously, just to like boost your melee attack and range attack. I'm running the secret ability, although I feel like you could run Circadian with this, not gonna lie. Um, because it just gives you like a, a bit more type coverage since like Gluminous Roar changes depending on your type, but at the same time it's like pretty easy to predict since um, Circadian swaps to light and dark every turn. Uh, so your opponents can probably predict that pretty well, but nonetheless, I'm still running the secret ability. Just because at plus one, 120 speed, you can actually outspeed everything in the game, I believe. But yeah, and then 16 range defense, just make sure that Protagon doesn't boost its range attack. Although my UP is at 39 range defense, I just didn't want to waste a shard on it. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, but it's still going to be like a 50% chance to not boost Protagon's range attack, which is nice. Uh, 200 range attack just to maximize that as much as possible. 152 melee attack uh, at plus one actually lets you two shot Venelin. And 12 energy, it just lets you use like what? Two raging tackles and like four of these moves, the 25 energy moves. I, I really don't know, but it's it, it helps it out a bit. So I just thought I'd make it 12 energy but anyways this is the team i didn't really like think it out too well i guess but um obviously like the main issue that i see with this team is that low energy low energy low energy low energy like um th they really struggle with energy and it's it's honestly fine like i have energy orb on modern work so I think it'll be okay. I just mostly wanted to try out new Lumions like Terrafly with Baneful Bash. Um, I think Eliguana got Rejuvenate, although I don't have Rejuvenate on this, so I might want to swap that out actually. I think I'll take out Luster Loot. Yeah, I think, I think I'm... Yeah, I'll, I'll take out Luster Loot. Um, but yeah, just because like Eliguana uh, really likes recovery so now it's got health amulet and rejuvenate to help heal itself which is nice i also have cosmure here just to like deal some damage on the range attack side abatross on the melee attack side red burn is just great for like burning and as, as well as like terrifying support um terrify just removes poison barbs i mean i, I really don't know like if this team is gonna work, but it's whatever. I just wanted to try out new Lumion, so let's get into the battle. All right, we're in a battle with Johnson, Jaden, C. Um, apparently, they just recently found my channel, so let's see how this goes. Um, it was my AOT video. I <laughs> gotcha. All right, hopefully, he sees this video as well. That'll be cool. Let's see, uh, I'm definitely bringing into clips for sure. Um. I don't have any earth types, which sucks, but Eliguana looks good here. Um, I have Maomirk for Borak, I guess, sort of. I don't really have too much of a Borak counter, so I'm gonna have to depend on Maomirk a lot here, but let's see. I might actually lead off with Raburn, not gonna lie. Yeah, Raburn looks super good here. Um, what do I have for... I have Eliguana for Proto and Eclipse, so that's good. I think I'll bring in Avatross last, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fine. Um, they lead off with Borak, which is great for me. I can get off a free Raging Flame. They're at neutral since I'm terrifying. So hopefully I get a burn off. That could be, like pretty good for me right now. Um, I don't know if I outspeed it though. Borak probably outspeeds, yeah. But I think I still live. Yeah, I live the hit. Do I get a burn? A critical hit. Yes! Okay, got the burn. Okay, nice. <laughs> 
Alright, um... Yeah, I can just go into my homework now for free. Alright, they swap out, actually, into Protagon. Um... I think this is fine. They get a range attack boost, but I think I'm the very clever set, so I think I should be okay here. Um, look at how low my energy cost is for my moves. It's pretty insane. I could also just go into Eliguana. I don't have to like risk anything. I think I can get off a Taze too, so I'll just go into Eliguana right now. And let's see, Steel Crusher. Ooh, I tank that pretty well. I mean, they didn't get a melee attack boost, so it makes sense, but still. Um, they have Borok, which could easily swap in. But I might just go for Taze anyways. Because even if they do go into Borok, I can just go straight into Malmerk. Let's see, do they go into Borok? They go into Seer Knight. Interesting play. It's terrifying, makes sense. Okay, so I get the Taze off. They don't mind it that much, but it's still pretty, like, crippling for them. Since they there's a chance that they don't move at all for one turn, which is really good. I'll go for a Magnify, even though they have a Borak in the back. Um, just to, like, threaten them a bit. Um... But like, yeah, like I said, I can just swap into Malmerk if anything, so I don't, I'm not worrying too much about Borok, especially since it's burned. <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn I clicked Borok, oh no. Yeah, that, that, that actually, yeah, that, that clears up a lot for me then. Okay, so they go into Borok now, which is fine. Because like I said, I have Malmerk in the back. This thing is getting bulk up, by the way, which honestly doesn't feel like too beneficial to Borok. Since it already gets boast, which means it's already going to be sweeping right off the bat. Or not sweeping, like wall breaking. So I don't think bulk up is that necessary on it. I guess for like resilience Borok, then you could boost up your melee defense. But anyways, Mega Chomp, they... They either predicted the Malmerk swap in, or they just wanted to um, use a dark, super effective move against um, Eliguana. Okay, I can go for damage here. Oh, they outspeed me. Oh no. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, I think I'll just go and- Oh, I can go into Eclipse here! Oh my gosh, wait. Do I get the total Eclipse boost? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. And they're out of energy too, so I can just go for a power focus right away. Oh, they, <laughs> they used dodged! Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> no way! Do I get another power focus off? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh! Plus two. Oh man, this is so good because power focus, what it does is boosts your melee attack and range attack. So I'm gonna have plus two range attack and plus two melee attack. So my raging tackle and gluminous roar are gonna be doing so much damage. All right, Borok is down. If Protagon comes in, I just click Gloom Roar. It should be able to KO, but. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Protagon comes in. Please tell me this KOs. Please tell me this KOs. Oh, also? It got a range attack boost. I think it's because... Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I lost the 50-50. But anyways. Yep. Took it out. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Oh my gosh. He said this better not be very nimble. It, I outsped because of total eclipse speed boost. Okay, terrifying. So I'm at plus one melee attack now, which sucks. But anyways, 
I think they actually tank a Gloomness War, but I'll go for it anyways. Okay, yeah, they tank it for sure. Do I live Searing Steel? Uh, yep, I do. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. Mixed to Clips, bro. Even though I couldn't really do much with the melee side, but... Maybe I can do like a little bit of a Quick Pounce on their next Lumion. Um, if I had gotten for like one power focus and like waited or something, then I would have had enough for another Raging Tackle, but it's whatever. And they're gonna go for a Quick Punch or, yeah, they're gonna go for a Quick Punch, so I'm gonna go for a Quick Pounce. <laughs> that did nothing, bro. Oh my gosh, okay, critical hit, whatever. It's all good. That was still pretty decent, though. Um, I'll go for- I'll go into Raburn. Okay, so... Hopefully I get a burn off somehow. <laughs> Questionable, but there must be a reason. Yes, sir, there is definitely a reason for that. Alright, um, quick punch, do I live? Yeah, I live. For sure. Do I get a burn off? Please. Yes, let's go! Oh my gosh, bro. Rabburn is so good. Rabburn is literally so good. I, I cannot stress this enough. Like, Rabburn is definitely the best burn Lumion in the game. What, what, what would you call it? A burner? Or like, status something? Whatever, whatever. I give up. But anyways, Chase Down did like 8 damage. So I can just swap out for free. Um, who do I even go to? Malamark, maybe? I could go into Malamark, but they might slap down, which would hurt a lot. But I mean, Malamark is not going to do anything in this game, I think. Since their Borok is down. Okay, slap down. Yeah, Malamark goes down, which is fine. I can go into Avitross here and start setting up. Raburn Avitross combo is so much better than Colossus Neck or Falk Lash or whatever. Trust me. I'm just kidding, but you know, maybe they they all have their own benefits and whatnot. Like Raburn just is annoying. And look, <laughs> because I terrified the Ursul and burned it, that slapdown did only like 39 damage or 41 damage to Avitross, so I could just set up again, honestly. Shadow Sprint, that's fine. They have enough for one more Shadow Sprint, so I could just go Perch, to be honest. And then I can rest. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine Ursul being set up fodder for Avitross? That's the power of Rubburn. Guys, if you're not using Raburn already, just just use it. <laughs> it's so good. It's literally so good, bro. I'm not even joking. I love Raburn so much. It just does so much for your team. It's a lot better than Seer Knight since it doesn't have like that electric weakness or that quad earth weakness, etc, etc. Um, but also, Seer Knight's getting a new move called Armor Down, which boosts its speed by plus two and removes metal typing. So that could be good for Seer Knight defensively. Pure fire, t fire typing is just super good in this game. Since it it's neutral to, what, electric, and then it resists fire, ice, and metal, so all of that coverage is just... It means nothing to fire types. Also, this might be a GG, I think. Is Swolder their last Lumion? That, that was a critical hit. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, I won. GG, let's go. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Alright, so, yeah. That was the showcase, and glad that you're 
you're watching the vids now, Johnson Jaden C. I hope you see this video. It was a really fun battle, and yeah. Hope to see you guys in the next video.